really think I'd show you everything in my box in the first 10 seconds, did you? Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jessica and I make lifestyle, fitness, and beauty related videos. For today's video, I did a little mini haul from Thrive Market. And if you don't know what Thrive Market is, it is an online grocery store that has organic, dairy-free, soy-free, and vegan products that are at a cheaper price than if you buy them at a regular grocery store. And the idea is that because they're selling online, they're not paying for the retail space to pay a shelf price or whatever you wanna call it. And because of that, they get to sell their products at a cheaper price. So for each item, you save at least a dollar, a couple dollars sometimes, and if you're buying multiple things, then you're saving 10, 15, 20 dollars, and that really adds up and they give you your first month free, and then after that, you do pay a membership fee. It's kind of like Costco is how I look at it. You pay a membership fee to get really good stuff at really good prices, and I think it's totally worth it, especially because they do free shipping after $50. So what I do is when I decide I want an item, I put it in my cart. Most items are not $50, so I don't just sit there and shop through till I can spend $50. What I'll do is I'll put my phone down, I'll go about my day, and then when I think of another item that I need to replace or I've been wanting to try, maybe a cruelty-free or toxic-free product, or if I hear about it later on, I'll add it to my cart and then I'll slowly build up to 50 bucks and then I get free shipping. And I try and make sure they're always items that I do need to, so then I feel a little less guilty about spending $50 at a time. And I buy from them maybe like two weeks or every two weeks or so. Now my method for that works out really well actually because by the time I make another order, it's been usually two or three weeks and the products I ordered previously have run out. So I'll order more and I get my new products about the same time that my other ones run out and that just works out really well. Now my first product, I actually bought two of because I like this product so much. It is Mushroom Coffee by Four Sigmatic. Mushroom coffee is not hallucinogenic, at least not this kind, and it has a lot of good health benefits. I picked this one specifically for the cordyceps, and if you don't know what cordyceps are, they are a fungus, yes, but they have a lot of good health benefits. They help with anti-aging, they help with stress, they help with inflammation, and they also are really good at increasing your energy levels as well as increasing your stamina and athletic performance. And I found an article that had a few interesting facts. I'll link it down below. But one of the things I thought was really interesting is when people first discovered this, they were noticing that animals in the wild were eating the fungus and then they were becoming stronger. So that was really interesting to me, especially since I work out five or six times a week and I'm always looking for natural things that'll help me increase my performance. So now that we've gone over the coffee, I wanna talk about the creamer that I picked up. Now, I've heard about this one a decent amount after doing the Whole30 because it is Whole30 approved. It is dairy-free and soy-free. It's Kariga Gin free totally butchered that. It has no high fructose corn syrup, no refined sugars and sugar alcohols and it is made with almonds and coconut. This is French vanilla and it tastes pretty good. I tried it with my mushroom coffee today and I have to say it, that was a nice blend. Also, I forgot with the mushroom coffee. This is not coffee, it does not taste like coffee. I mean, it's instant coffee, but it doesn't taste like coffee. It tastes like coffee with a very herbal tea so if you're trying it for the first time, make sure you consider that and think of it as a new product. You haven't tried anything like it before, and then you're more likely to like it. For my next item, I also picked up two of these and they are the turmeric coconut wraps. They're an alternative to bread and tortillas. I have used them mostly with breakfast. I haven't tried them with other foods. I like to scramble eggs and add some spinach and avocado, some seasoning and some maybe like a breakfast meat and they're usually very flavorful. They are more on the sweet side but if you've seasoned and put salt on your food then the sweetness isn't overpowering or anything and actually tastes really good. They do sort of make your mouth kind of turn a little yellow from the turmeric, but all you have to do is just drink some water and then it cleans your mouth. All right, my last food related item I have not tried yet, but it is the Bragg's Nutritional Yeast. I've heard a lot about this and I have heard that you can use it on popcorn or you can even use it kind of as a Parmesan cheese substitute. So I'm really excited to try this. I also have heard some people say they don't like it, 
Thrive Market sells this for a really good price. So I picked it up so I could give it a try. And if you wanna know how I like this and a few of the other products I haven't tried yet, let me know in the comments down below and I'll make a little review video of my thoughts on them after trying them for a little while. The next thing I picked up I'm pretty excited about, it is, um, it's really cute, it's called Piggy Paint. And this is a nail polish remover. It has low odor, no acetone, and it's eco-friendly. So I've been looking for less toxic products to use as far as nail care goes. I know that there's a lot of gunk in, in most of the nail polish removers. And even though on the reviews, this one said it is a little more difficult or maybe a lot more difficult to get the nail polish off, I'm actually okay with that because when I think of the companies that are making the other toxic chemicals that you use for taking nail polish off, I kind of just think of it as they have one goal in mind and that is to get the nail polish off quickly because we live in a culture where you want things fast. And I assume that they would be willing to use chemicals are not the best for you because they have a different goal in mind. And I wanna use products that are less toxic, so I'm gonna give this one a try. And like I said, I can let you know if you want a review video. So my last product, I'm not sure if this is gonna work. I've heard really good things. And um, it's toothpaste, exciting, right? But this is activated charcoal, it's fluoride free, and it's made with coconut oil and bentonite clay. And I've been noticing that my teeth are not looking as white as I would like them to. So I was looking for healthier alternatives and I came across this one. I saw some good reviews. I'm actually kind of excited to use it. I'm not sure if it's gonna turn my teeth gray because there's charcoal in it, you know, while I'm brushing my teeth. And I haven't told Joey that I picked this up. So I think I'm gonna use it and not tell him and see what kind of reaction I can get out of him. But anyways. This would also be something I would include in a video if I did a little review video. So those are all my goodies I picked up from Thrive Market. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and then I'll know that you like this kind of video. Also, don't forget to subscribe. It really helps my channel and then you get to see more videos like this. I hope you're having a good day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.